All right, today I'm gonna show you another way of doing your makeup, the highlighting and contouring, and it's kind of a foolproof way. It works really well if you don't need um, a lot of coverage, like a full coverage look, but I'll show you a little trick on how you can get a little bit more of a full coverage look using this method. So we're gonna be using our fingers and the 3D brush. So it has different names, but I like to call it the dot and blend method because I'm just gonna put little bits of the color all over my face and then blend it all at the end. Um, the fun thing about it is it really gives you a true one layer approach to the makeup, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start like I normally do with the Stay Setting Spray and just do like I would a moisturizer, um, just kind of put it on my face and get my skin prepped. I love sandwiching the makeup with the setting spray. I feel like it helps with longevity. If you have any problems with oiliness, it's really gonna keep the oiliness at bay, okay? All right, so now using clean fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my contour. And I'm just gonna dip my finger into my contour, just get a good amount there. The contour, I always feel like we need a little bit more, and then the highlight we need to like go really light on. So I'm just gonna come and do these little dots and come across the top of my forehead here. And we're gonna be blending this at the end. Um, so it's kind of like paint by numbers almost, okay? I know I like to have a nice deep contour up here, so I'm gonna make sure I've got plenty of product up, up there, okay? The second place you put the contour, top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, and I'm just gonna start in the back here and I'm feeling under my cheekbones and I'm just coming right under there, okay? Again, I know that I like a little bit deeper of a contour with a little more product in the back, so I'm gonna add just a touch more there, okay? And then I'm gonna come on the other side, top of the ear, corner of the mouth, just coming right there, right by my sideburns. I feel my cheekbone and just sliding it forward to about the corner of my eye there, okay? This is really fun because you can see where everything goes. And again, I'm just gonna add a little touch more there. Okay, when it comes to my jawline, I just come right underneath, just add a little bit of color across the bottom of my jawline. I hope I remember to blend this one because sometimes I, I do this method and then I forget to blend this under my jawline. It's kind of funny. Okay, and then when it comes to the nose contour, there's two ways you can do it. One, unfortunately, I cannot demo because I only have one hand, but you can dip both pinkies into the contour. I guess I can show you at least half of it. Um, and then just kind of press your pinkies together and come down the center of your nose, okay? So I don't have my other pinky to demo, but you could just really do it in one shot there, okay? So I'm gonna just come on the other side. All right, so I just got that contour. You can see I don't come down the sides of my nose. I'm just coming right there, all right? And then the bonus contour that we absolutely love, just coming a little bit underneath the lip right there, okay? All right, next I'm gonna take my brightener color, all right? So for me, it's this one here. So this is the brighter of the two colors. It's gonna be your pop color, all right? So I'm gonna come and do three dots, one, two, and three at the bottom of that triangle there. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna do one up here, right up high, up, um, right at the very tippy top of my cheekbone there. And then I'm gonna do a three, right here, and then I'm gonna come down, I guess that's four, <laughs> and then I'm gonna come down the center of my nose with a little stripe of that brightener, balance on my chin. I also know I like to just kind of brighten up right here by my nose and by my smile lines, okay? All right, see it all coming together? And then you take your main highlight color, this one here, and I am just going to fill in the blanks, okay? So wherever I don't have color, which is a little bit right there. Okay, and I'm just doing small dots. I think the one kind of thing you need to be aware of when you're doing this method is sometimes people get a little overboard with the dots and then they put too much product on. So just really be aware that you don't put too much product on when you're doing these dots, okay? Keep them nice and spaced. All right, I'm coming right under here, come there. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all that I need. All right, just kind of wiping off the rest of it. 
Um, and I, you could do your blush color at this point, but I like to do that at the end. So now that I have everything and see it's all placed, we look like a paint by numbers thing. And I'm gonna start with um, the rounded side of the 30 second hack brush. You could also use the, round, the smaller side of the um, blush and bronzer brush. Um, you could use a number of brushes, okay? But I'm gonna start, start with the lightest color and just blend that out and then move on to the um, darker color, the mid-tone, my main color, and then finish up with the contour, okay? So all I'm doing is just kind of buffing it, doing little stipples and blending that all out. I've got all the product that I need on my face in the place that I need it, in the places that I need it, and now I am just blending everything out here. Okay, coming up to that high point that's really gonna lift your cheekbone there. Love that. Okay, blending upward. Come down the center of the nose. I think I'm ready to start doing some of the contour here. I love the stippling when you do this method because you wanna keep those colors in those places, right? And you wanna start with a lighter color to keep that contour nice and deep. And after you're all done blending, it's all in the right place and you have this beautiful three-dimensional look. And I see how I'm blending upward. You really want to do that. Keep that contour shifting up, up, up. Lift the cheekbones. Really create that beautiful dimension. Okay. Hey, I almost forgot. <laughs> We're going to not forget under here. Across and down to blend that all out okay and voila like this cream product blends so so beautifully that it just makes it so easy okay i want to grab a tiny bit more of contour i like to see my contour just a little bit deeper so i might add just a little bit more product when i'm blending if i need to okay but it really does give you just kind of that basis of this beautiful, easy way of doing your 3D foundation, okay? And then if I need any areas, see how I just need a little bit more coverage? Here's where I'll just come and do just a tiny bit more of product only in the areas that I need it and just make sure I'm getting that coverage that I want. And again, if you're struggling to find coverage, you can always try another highlight color. Usually it means you need to go darker if you're having a hard time getting the coverage that you want. Okay, now it's time for lip and cheek. Still gonna use my fingers, grabbing a little bit of nude, swiping that across my lips. You guys know that I love mixing colors, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of Frenchie to just go in the center here, and create that ombre 3D look there. Oh, I see a little acne scar. It needs to be concealed there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take what's left over and add that blush right there. And then I can blend that out and this one I'm doing a downward tap because I want to keep that triangle of light nice and bright and I wanna kinda marry it with the contour, just kinda smash it in with the contour. Take just a touch more. You can always add more blush and create a little bit more of a pop if you want. A little bit more of that pink. Okay, and then I'm gonna come and take that last color, my Illuminator, which is that beautiful shimmer, subtle shimmer, that creates that beautiful touch of glow. And I am about done, and that is called the Dot and Blend Method. And it really is such a fun way to do your makeup. Okay, I'll take my Perfector blending sponge, make sure it's fully squeezed out, got all that extra liquid out, and we'll do a last little tap of the product. Make sure everything is beautifully blended. I can take a little bit of that blush color that I had. You could do this with your contour, your illuminator even, and just add a little bit of color all in one palette. And there we have it guys. My makeup is done. That's a super easy, simple, straightforward way. It's amazing for just, you know, 
getting it done really quickly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with some setting spray. Smells like a paradise dream and I am ready to go.